Well, heading into these next few weeks, we move into the most deadly time of the year for lightning strikes. With more than 25 million strikes hitting the earth each and every year, we want to clear up some myths that you may hear about lightning. And Jenna Jane joins us now to set the record straight. Jenna, good morning. Good morning, Dave and Cerise. One of the biggest myths that we always hear is that if there's no clouds or rain above you, that you won't get struck by lightning. But that is absolutely false. While it is unlikely, lightning can still strike as far away as 25 miles from the parent thunderstorm. So if meteorologists are warning you to go indoors or you get those alerts on your phone, take it seriously. When thunder roars, go indoors. That's always the little uh, rhyme we like to say. Now once that lightning starts, there's also a myth that if you crouch low on the ground or even lay down on the ground, that that's going to protect you from lightning. It won't. And if you lay down on the ground, that's a terrible idea. It could actually be worse since you now have more surface area for a deadly ground current. So if there is some sort of lightning storm going on, your best bet, get inside. If there's a storm moving through, best place to be when there's lightning is in a building, in your house. If you're outside, try to get inside. Get in a car if you can, but you don't want to be outside. Now, if you do move indoors, you're also going to want to stay away from things like water or electricity. There have been cases where someone's house was struck by lightning while they were washing the dishes. It actually traveled through their pipes and shocked them. So likely going to happen on older homes, but regardless, You've earned a break for everything you're doing. So if it is a lightning storm, take a load off, sit down for a little while. And hey, you can be on your cell phone, Dave Cerise, while you're in doors. Just make sure it's not plugged into a wall socket and you'll be fine. So you've earned that break. It's a good excuse to take it. <laughs> it sure is. But Jenna, how do you know when it's safe to go back outdoors again? The National Weather Service says to wait 30 minutes after you hear the last roar of thunder and then you can go back out. All right, Jenna Jane's reporting for us live this morning on Lightning Safety. Jenna, thank you. And that